Hey drummers, I'm Brad Schluter. I love funky grooves. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate all of the grooves from my funk article that was featured in the winter 2018 issue of Drum Magazine. Now, the idea behind the article is that there's certain licks, techniques, and approaches that great drummers have used throughout the years to make their playing incredibly funky. And best of all, these ideas are not simply limited to funk. You can apply them to any styles of music that you happen to play. We're going to start relatively simple, but by the end of it, some of these ideas are going to get pretty complex. The first idea we're going to deal with is the concept of syncopation, which is an essential element of funk. And all that means is to emphasize or accent a weaker part of the beat. So I'm going to start with a real simple rock groove, and then I'm going to move a bass drum forward and backwards to show you how you can affect basically the sound of a simple groove and make it a lot funkier by placing a note on an and. Check it out. Now let's play some snare notes on the E's and us to create another layer of syncopation. These can be played as accents or as ghost notes. The dynamic contrast between loud notes and soft notes is an essential element of funk. I'm going to play some accents on the hi-hat on top of some grooves. First I'll do some downbeat accents for a solid anchored feeling, and later I'll do some upbeat accents for a very different effect. Now let's add some 16th note bass drum syncopations. We can turn all those syncopations on the E's and U's into triplets, buzzes, or 32nd notes. For these examples, I'll be using triplets. One-handed 16th note patterns can create a subtle motion to all of your grooves.
Using two hands to play your 16th of grooves can open a wide world of additional possibilities. Different cymbal patterns can radically affect the feel of your grooves. Here are a few that every great funk drummer has down. Breaking away from constant backbeats can create an angular and funky quality to all of your beats. Every great funk drummer uses their hi-hat openings to great effect. They can use them as short barks for accents, or they can use them to tie two notes together. Linear grooves offer virtually unlimited possibilities. For the next two beats, I'll first play a 16th note linear pattern with the hi-hat on the upbeat. Then I'll morph that into a triplet pattern that I think sounds pretty cool. We can't forget rudiments. You can add flams, buzzes, diddles, rolls, paradiddles, all sorts of things to create interesting grooves. The next two patterns first are going to use a roll pattern, and then I'm going to use a variation on a paradiddle that David Garibaldi refers to as the King Kong beat. One great way to link two measures together is to displace the backbeat on the end of four, much like Clyde Stubblefield did on James Brown's song Cold Sweat. Here's a simplified version of that groove. Odd meter grooves offer drummers lots of funky possibilities. In this next example, I'm going to play a 5-4 kick and snare pattern while I superimpose 
a 3-8 hi-hat pattern on top of that, sort of a shuffle rhythm. This is going to take three bars to cycle around, and I'll open the hi-hat at the end of the three bars so you can hear when it's about to start over again. There are many more ideas and techniques that you can use to bring the funk to your own drumming. Please check out the great funk drummers of all time and check out my article. I've got a few more ideas in there for you. I hope this has been helpful to you and thanks for watching.